Right now, here's a few updates. Cowboy Purposes 5 has its covers done. I'm just waiting on a few more stories we sent in to finish the book up. Then I can get to work on the table of contents. There'll be three versions of the book now. One version will be the black and white trade paperback. The other version will be a hardcover edition. Then the third version is going to be a collectible. It's going to be a full color layout, full color pages like all my photography and text, plus some notes about each other's photos. Also, I managed to finish Iowa, my anti abortion yarn. When I finished this up, this scared me all the more because I can't believe I got you guys done. Cyber Terror Machine is finished. That story is saved for Tally Versus 5, Tally Versus Book 5. I was going to just call it Tally Versus 5 Cyber Terror Machine, but when I start looking at more, I'm going to call it Book 5. Then I got three short stories done, and a couple articles. If you want the free reads, look to my account on Associated Content for one of them. DeviantArt would have the other one. My account at DeviantArt, I had that account now since 2002. I decided to put my journalism to test here. Since the journalism was well received over there, so I'm going to keep, it, keep my journalism for that site and for Associated Content. But I'm going to be shopping around the fiction. The stories I'm going to talk about in this video are Media Darling. That's a very controversial yarn there, too. It's dealing with all these slander sites. And there's one character model that's the slander queen herself. Then, I got one called Ghost of Little Tokyo. That takes this jab at these fan fiction authors. Well, it kind of plays off that whole controversy that the one idiot who wrote another hope did. I thought I'd have all fun with this story and in House of Cards. House of Cards, I have more fun with it. I also take playful jabs at the real person fiction writers out there. I mean, I've seen some of these stories that they written pretty damn scandalous. I'm looking at them like this. They might have ruined some authors' careers when they wrote the stories. And I've seen what they try to do to me a few times. Ronnie Mock's stories in my prize manuscripts accuse me of plagiarism and all that fucked up crap. So what I did here, I was inspired in part by the monster of Joel Maple Street. I read the short story when I was 16, 17 years old in high school. It stuck with me to this day. So here I am. How I do my own my own story that is in that vein. But I take it to a whole new level. What I mean by taking a whole new level? I grew up in a small town in Illinois called Roselle. Roselle, Illinois, in the eighties everybody knew everybody. And when I lived in Mason City in that same mentality. They knew what you're doing. They paid attention to their high school sports. And every damn controversy they knew about in some odd way. That small town eeriness is what I'm trying to capture on this one. That small town eeriness and exchanges with this author character who is not named. And there's a journalist in here, I can this toward the very end, writing the article for the author. The subplot in there, this real person fiction author, desecrated this author's best friend's grave by taking a sledgehammer to the guy's headstone. Then he goes around writing these stories about dogs taking a shit in the guy's grave. The author gets mad. He does these videos messing with the guy. Showing him what he did was wrong and the next thing he knew, he starts running into people who read the anthology this author published. And he had no knowledge of this. This author in the story, he hails from Chicago, Illinois, the south side. Kind of parallels my life in a way, but the character is not me. 
I can tell you that right now. But, when you see the story being shot around, I got some good rejections so far with one story called The Roommate. Weird Tales got back to me saying they like the story, but not quite what they're looking for. See with another one, Apex and Digest, they're them too. That gives me hope, I think. I'm thinking, if I can get the good reject rejection for that one, I'm kind of wondering what kind of reaction I'll get if I send them this one, House of Cards. It makes me nervous thinking about it. I'll just say this right now. I have a few stories that got me saying this, but I got one that probably makes me most nervous right in Iowa. 